So I recently purchased a few new products that came out from MAC, so I thought I would do a haul. I showed them on my Snapchat, but there were some really, really beautiful products that came out, a lot of new products, some limited edition, and I wanted to share some of them with you just in case you saw something that you like. Plus, I want to do a few looks using some of the new glitter shadows. Well, I don't think they're called that, but they're basically shadows full of glitter. They're called the Dazzle Shadows. I got several different shades of them. You guys know what I say when something's really awesome. I say, can I get a what what? Honestly, all these shades are like a what what. They're so, so amazing. So I cannot wait to show you some of them. Plus, oh, I'm going to start out with something that I think is really exciting. I hope you guys do too. And I hope you run and get it while you can. But MAC came out with limited edition Fix Pluses. Now, Fix Plus is just a glorified like setting spray, like hydrating spray for your face. It has some, you know, minerals and all that in it. It's if you want to be fancy, you don't want to just be spraying water on your face to hydrate it. So this is a little bit better, but it's a skin refresher finishing mist is what it said. They came out with different scents. I got rose and coconut. There are lavender, cucumber, ooh, there's one that I forget, Y-U-Z-U, I'm not sure. And I think there's another one. Anyways, limited edition scents, they smell so good. The rose is very faint and nice and lovely. Like, let me just, let me just try this out. Oh, yes, it smells like that beautiful, light, faint rose scent. And then the coconut, we're going to do the other side of my face with the coconut. The coconut is like a light, fresh nice. coconut. It's not like a fake, nasty one. Yes. Oh, like this is going to be perfect to like, even I would throw this in to a beach bag, and I know that sounds a little excessive and ridiculous. This stuff smells so good. It'd be like perfect little refresher at the beach because it smells like coconut. Love these. Definitely think that they are worth it to pick up and snag since they are limited edition. I especially love this rose one. If you like rose scented things, you will love this. Those two are like my number one things that I really want to impress upon you. You need these. They just smell so good. Along with skincare, there was a new foundation that dropped. I tried this on my face today. I went in with another foundation too. I did this makeup look legit in a flash because I had a facial this morning, um, which there's more information coming about that on my Friday video. I had a facial this morning and then I had to get my hair fixed, highlighted, because I tried to dye it myself and I turned it orange. You guys, it was a sad situation. I like basically went into my stylist like this. I was feeling super guilty <laughs> that I had tried to do anything on my own because I'm not good at it. And although she did say that I did an okay job at highlighting it, I didn't leave it on long enough it turned it orange. Anyway. So I did this makeup look really quick because that's like where I was going with the story. And so I don't, I didn't have like a ton of time. This is a first impression. I literally just put it on. I didn't love it, but uh, I definitely need to use it way more. I got this Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I like the size of this. And I got it in the color NC20. It was a little bit light. So, and I'm pretty fair complected, but uh, I, I do like the bottle of this, the container. It's a little squeezy. There it is right there. I've seen some demos on this and it looks absolutely stunning on people. So I don't know if I just, I wasn't taking my time maybe today because I was trying to really quickly get ready. Um, my husband took my kids on a little Jeep ride so I had some time to finish up before they came home and film a and film a video so I kind of was rushing so I don't know I didn't give it a fair shot is what I'm trying to say I'm going to use this more but I've heard a lot of people really really like this so I can't wait to kind of try it more and develop some opinions about it I also picked up a new brush this is the MAC 221 and this is a really nice tapered brush comes to a really nice tapered point I really really like this brush for the crease. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm just saying I like the shape of it. I really think I'm going to love getting right in there with my crease because I have hooded eyes, so it's a smaller tapered hooded eye, like perfect for my hooded eyes brush getting in the crease. So that is a 221. Next up, I got three lip glosses. I 
don't know why I were was interested in the lip glasses. I think it was I was watching uh, Real Housewives of Orange County and Tamara Barney was wearing Nymphette. I'd owned Nymphette before. It's just a really nice peachy color, peachy pink color with a gold sheen in it. And I, this was the first gloss that I ever owned from MAC. But, you know, obviously they go bad, so I haven't had it in a long time. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to pick that one up again. So I went to the site to pick it up, and then I kind of started browsing the other lip glasses. And I ordered more. So I ordered two different shades, but this is Nymphette. And it's just a peach with a golden sheen to it. And then I ordered this really interesting grayish color. I don't know why, because I thought it was super interesting. It's called Explicit. And it's like almost like a gray beige with a grayish shimmer in it. I just thought it would be interesting over some other, like even a nude. So I don't know, we're going to try that one out. So there it is right there with a beautiful sheen. And then the last one I picked up is Spite, which is like a taupey, almost like a taupey mauve shade, like a dirty taupey mauve. And I just like this color. I thought it would look good over some of the lip products that I picked up. So there is Spite right there. So those are the three lip glasses that I picked up and I also picked up three lipsticks a while ago when they first came out with a bunch of different lipsticks that match their some of their most popular lip liners. So I picked a few of them up and they're all matte lipsticks. Did I say that? I think I did. This first one is Stone. I think I've showed these in a video because I've had them for a while. I can't remember but just in case I didn't, this one is Stone really really beautiful it matches the lip liner perfectly and then they came out with whirl which again is one of the most popular lip liner colors that one is whirl right there and then the last one which I love this color and it is a new shade it doesn't have a lip liner that matches it this is in men love mystery very, very similar to Max Up The Amp. So if you have that, you probably do not need this. This is just a matte formula. Up The Amp is an amplified formula. So there that one is right there. Such a beautiful color. So those are the three lipsticks that I picked up. They have several more. I'm gonna do a full video on trying those all on the lips. I'm gonna show the whole matte line that I personally own. A separate video, so I'll try them all on my lips. So that's coming soon. Okay, on to the eyeshadows that came out, the Dazzle shadows. <sighs> These were so pretty. I am wearing one on my lids today, which I'm going to start with the one that I'm wearing. It is such a unique shade. It's like a green. So these are the same size as MAC eyeshadows in pots. And they're basically like, kind of like pressed pigments but a little bit creamier. I would say they're a combination between Max Press Pigments and ColourPop eyeshadows. Just really interesting of a texture. So this one is called I Like to Watch. I just want to show you guys like this is almost like a goldish green. These change so many different colors when they're swatched. This has like peach base to it. So you put it over things and it like it's almost like a sheer opal type thing. Do you see how it's like peachy, but it has like lime green in it? Oh, it's so, so beautiful. So this one is called I Like to Watch. Okay, this shade right here is called Can't Stop, Don't Stop. Can't Stop, Won't Stop is what it should be called. Okay, this is like a beautiful purple. Let's just get a what what? Look at that. I love it. I'm not trying to flick you off. This almost has like a purple, peach, pink. Oh, it's so pretty. Like over even a black base. That's going to be gorgeous or a deep purple base. I cannot wait. So, oh, I love that. Okay, this shade is called Feel the Fever and it's like a purple with silver taupe glitter in it. Feel the Fever. This actually has gold, taupe, silver, and pink glitter in it. Gold, taupe, silver, and pink glitter in it. It is so multidimensional in person. It's not even going to translate on camera. It is just so beautiful, though. 
I don't know if you can even see like all the dimension in it. It's so bright. Okay, this shade is called Get Physical. This is like a bluish purple with some pinkish glitters in it as well. Oh, I love this one. It's got like more of a deeper blue than the last shade. Translates as more of a purple. This has more of a blackish base. Oh, this one is so beautiful. I love it. This was a little bit less glittery than the rest, but it's still, it's so, so pretty. This shade is called Say It Isn't So, and I almost don't even know how to describe it. It's like a taupe, and it has multi-dimensional glitter in it. Right there, oh my goodness, I love this shade. You can't even see, but it has like multi-dimensional glitter, like I said, in it. It's so pretty. This one's called She Sparkles, and it's like a silver with light pink glitter in it. Oh. Look at how pretty that one is. Here that one is right there. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got like multi-dimensional glitter as well, but like mainly like pink. So it's almost like a light silvery taupe with pink glitter. This one is called Let's Boogie and it's like a black slate gray base with silver and other multi-dimensional glitters in it. There that one is right there. As you can see, this one's not as like impressive as some of the rest of these are to me, but this would still be beautiful for like a really nice sparkly smoky eye. Last one is the ultimate what what of all. This is called Boom Boom Room. Go into the Boom Boom Room. I'm gonna go to the Boom Boom Room. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like peach, teal, pink. I can't even. Peachy, teal, pink. It's so multidimensional. Look at it just look at it this one is so pretty because it's like pink but it's like peach and teal and everything on your eyelid oh i'm not trying to flick you off but look at that look at it i mean seriously can you feel the love tonight can you feel the love tonight? That's what I feel like when I'm looking at these. Okay, aren't these gorgeous? So that is it for my MAC haul. Picked up a lot of great goodies. Let me know if you guys want to see some looks using these dazzle shadows. Like I legit cannot get over them. They're so, so gorgeous. I just, I seriously, I love them so much. And I think that they're all super beautiful and like unique and fun like the one I'm wearing on my eyes right now I just kind of put it over like a peach base but it's just so so pretty and I think that if you love glitter you're going to absolutely love these just to like press into your eye I love them so far I haven't noticed any fallout but I, again this is my first day that I've worn them so I'm gonna have to keep you updated on them but they're limited edition, and I definitely think that they're worth picking up a few. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.